and then exercise helps them. We don't know why. I don't know why that's always the answer, but anyway. So we, when you're adding the supplement, you want to do it just one at a time. If you go out and take all 20, you know, 15 or whatever I have at once, you'll have some side effect and you'll have no idea where it's coming from and no idea whether or not it works or not. Plus, it's much more expensive. What I'd recommend is you try it. Try it one at a time. And what I've given you is the order that I think is worth trying. Uh, with, with one exception, I'll explain that. Okay, cook and drink with filtered water. And then if you've got moderate to severe symptoms, it may be worth doing the heavy metal testing. Traditionally, we did uh, te heavy metal testing in, with people's hair. What they've found out is that this certain percentage of people didn't put it into their hair. Putting it into your hair is part of the and so if you've got this gene defect, you don't put it into your hair very well. And then, I, as I mentioned, I'm going to talk to them in order of importance. So the first one is the methylfolate. A number of different ways you can get that. The prescription forms are these first ones, Deplin, and it comes in 7.5 and, and 15. And it actually, if you can get a prescription for Deplin, is the cheapest per milligram dose that I've found if you get it from the mail order pharmacy that the company recommends. So, you, but um, then you've got Meta and X. That's the one that's FDA approved for or reviewed for nerve healing and wound healing and diabetics. You've got Serifolin, which is the one that's FDA reviewed for memory loss, and they actually now have uh, studies showing that it helps with early Alzheimer's. So that your Alzheimer's medications does what? It delays Alzheimer's for six months. That's it. This actually has been shown to delay it longer. Um, the studies are early, but when they did the study on Deplin versus placebo, Guess what had the most side effects? Placebo, because they felt so much better on the death. Row. So the what we're talking about is things that are very well tolerated for most people, and uh, sometimes can cause a little bit of stomach upset if you take them without food. Nevo is one of the six prenatal vitamins now that have this in. And then you can get various over-the-counter do over doses. I mentioned there's a Thorn brand um, that has both one milligram and five milligram. There's a Solgar brand that uh, comes in 800 micrograms, so it's a tiny 400 or 800, so a tiny dose. The next one is, so after the methyl folate, then I have people try the methyl B12 because that is needed in the next step. That's also what is blocked with some of the heavy metals like mercury. So methyl B12 is, um, B12 in general is not absorbed real well. So if you get the active form of it and then dissolve it under your tongue, it tends to absorb better. So, and I like the Jaro brand. That seems to be better tolerated in people that have tried various brands that, uh, um, I don't know if they're that much better, but at least in, so far in my experience, the Jaro seems to be better tolerated than some of the others. You can get it in injections. When I first started doing this, um, the methylfolate wasn't out there. And in fact, we were doing the methyl B12 injections, and I started looking. I said, you know, I'd like to go one step earlier to where the problem occurred. I'd like to get the methylfolate. Was searching on the internet, found that, found Deplin the week it was reviewed and approved by the FDA. And so I called the company and I says, hey, I want that stuff. They says, well, how did you hear about it? Because it's not released yet. 
I says, well, I read about it. You know, it just got reviewed by the FDA, and there's, they say go, and they said, well, I can't have it till it's released. I says, when's that? They said, six weeks. I said, can I be the first one on your shipping list? So it, it works really well, the injections for fibromyalgia. I would try the oral first. That's a lot cheaper. And for most people, that's all they need. They don't need to go to the injections. The injections, you will need a prescription. And you've got to have a pharmacy that compounds injections. Locally, the only one that does that is Mally's um, for injection compounding. <coughs> and then there are some oral drops available for children. So some of my grandchildren were having trouble. Um, we got the oral drops and those really helped. We put in the um, capsules of the methylfolate <coughs> into their milk and their juice and their food and anything else we can get it in and then we give them the drops for the B12. <coughs> this is the one that's new. It's, it's one that uh, I actually searched for before I searched for the methylfolate and five years ago when I was searching for this um, the only place I could get it was a research lab in Europe that was $12,000 a month. Uh, all right. That's a bit expensive. So then I went for the methylfolate. This now you can get. I've only had it for probably three or four months and some people try it and it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Others try it and it's huge. It makes a huge difference. I wish I could tell them why. It would. I mean, I love to have it. But if you read about this tetrahydrobiopterin, on Wikipedia it says they're studying it for its use in ADD and ADHD. Because, again, it helps with making the serotonin, which is that gear shifter. It allows them to then smoothly shift from one thing to the next. Um, just an example, I've got one grandson that struggles some with this. Uh, started him on a, you know, he liked just reading stories to him. And I could get through about one page of one of those little things with one line, you know. And uh, when we started him on it, he sat on my lap and we read six books all the way through. Before he left. Um, for some people, it's making a huge, huge difference. So I put on there where, where you get it. There's only one place I know that you can order it from. Um, I'm trying to see if we can get it compounded locally. So, all right. The next thing is N-acetylcysteine. It's an amino acid. What does it do? Well, it's one of the key components of glutathione. So what they found is if you give methylfolate, methyl B12, and N-acetylcysteine, it really helps with memory. So, that's the part, and usually I start with Deplin because it's just methylfolate, and then add the other things that make up serifolin and MetaNX. So I add those separately, because then if you don't respond to one of the things very well, it will, you'll know which one you're having trouble with. The other thing is, is as, you, as you start clearing some of the environmental toxins, you'll end up with um, clearing some of the normal minerals. So taking a mineral supplement seems to be useful. Epsom salt baths. The Epsom salt, the sulfate in the Epsom salt helps bind the toxin to your glutathione. And if you take it orally, what does it do? It cleans you out. That's what we use to clean people out for colonoscopy. So uh, soaking it, your legs in it seems to help, or your body. Um, and so in some people, that really makes a difference on some of the symptoms. It does lower blood sugars. So if you're diabetic, you want to do it at the same time every day. Vitamin B6, 
the active form. It's called pyridoxal 5-phosphate. If you go into the health food store and ask for that, they give you a blank stare. If you ask for P5P, they go, oh yeah, yeah, we got plenty of that. Well, that's what's in the uh, combination that they use for nerve healing and wound healing in diabetics. The one caveat with B6, it's the only B vitamin that has any toxicity associated with it. And it causes this tight band feeling around your head. If you get that, then you want to stop the B6. And that's why I like to do them separate. Because then if they get that, and only 5% or 10% of the population can't clear this as well and, and end up with a symptom. So, but if you're in that group, you, you have to throw away all the meta and X and, and then start over. So that's why I like doing it separate. Uh, vitamin C helps with a lot of these symptoms as well. It also helps regenerate glutathione, so glutathione is more effective. Dimethylglycine is one of the other things in this pathway. Zinc is important. And again, I do this in order. Flaxseed, we have lots of studies showing it helps with nerve healing and brain healing. Um, you can get it in uh, flaxseed or omega-3s, you can get them in flaxseed, chia seeds. Chia seeds, you don't have to grind to get them to um, absorb. And fish, but remember the fish oil can have the mercury in it, so you want to make sure that it says mercury removed or molecularly distilled. Vitamin E and silymarin, they said, well, you have to add silymarin to it. I says, well, what does that do? It says it boosts your glutathione. I said, all right, anything to boost my glutathione, I'm good with it. It's milkweed thistle, but again, these are things you can get over the counter at the health food store. And then you can now, glutathione, if you take it orally, is destroyed by the stomach. There's a couple of oral preparations that absorb well. One of them's a liquid and it tastes like rotten eggs. Um, so I wasn't so fond of that one, but uh, uh, there's, a, there's one I mentioned on here that by Thorne that actually has shown to absorb. Um, when you first start taking it, sometimes you, it'll actually make the symptoms worse because you're clearing toxins. So I usually have people take it for like three days and then off for a couple of weeks and then just do it like every other weekend for a while. You can get eventually so you can take it every day, but I would build up to that. So it's really a trial and error. It's not something that um, I can tell you, yeah, if you take this in this order, it'll cure everybody. It's too complex of a system for that. Um, there is a need to remove the toxins on some people. That depends on how severe your symptoms are. And I'm hoping someday I'll have a test that I can just say, hey, this is what you need. You need this one, this one, and that one. And forget about the rest of them. Questions? Yeah.